Hey y'all, I'm Mighty Cat, and today I will be playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Y'all ready? Let's go. This is my orc warrior character, Fish. He's wearing orcish plate armor. Papas isn't too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. Oh look, he has a little privacy divider here. Read the guard's dossier, Antonius. Status, active. Capture a kill, high priority. Description, Antonius, male, mid-70s. Background. Antonius is a former battle mage, said to possess a highly analytical mind that is matched only by his more purient inclinations. He is sought after by the aristocrats in the first hold for allegedly poisoning a caught wizard named Alenia with skooma, although it's unclear if he did so maliciously or simply introduced her to the substance. After fleeing to Cyrodiil, he joined the Crimson Dirks and advise them on the acquisition and smuggling of magical artifacts. Bottled spirits and old age have made him less urgent of a target, but all members of the bandit clan are still considered high priority and should be captured or eliminated. Operational notes. Antonius is believed to have a number of vices, most notably an addiction to gambling. Rather than search for him, it would be best to have godsmen stationed near the pits where light-minded degenerates tend to gather. Crags Lane Cavern is said to be thriving with activity as of late and may be worth a look. Oh. I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> Hope that's okay. I want to collect all the Crimson Dirk stuff, you know? Ooh. <laughs> I never thought to do this before. Can I jump from there to there, I wonder? All right, I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, no, I'm short. <laughs> I was short by a lot. <laughs> Whoa, it's floating on air for a minute there. Who would like some? Am I on top of where I gotta be? I think so. Yep. Okay, well this, this has been a very graceful entrance. <laughs> Come at me, huh? Ooh. You tough, huh? Should not have come at me. Just should not have come at me. Off the mountain with you. Off the mountain with you. That's all you got. Can't wait to count out your coins. I'll try to make this quick. Victory is yours. Good. Submit. You deserved it. Shouldn't have come at me like that. Hey. It's a Boethia cultist. Hey! Oh, you evil! Stop! Stop. Stop. You big dummy. No one crosses me. No more. I yield. I yield. Get up. Stand up. This enough. Terrible. You're safe now, baby. Hello. You picked a bad time to get love, friend. You don't even have a name or anything, huh? You don't even have a type. You just a nobody, that means. That's what that means. It means you're a nobody. Not quite good enough, are you? Well, neither are you. Lucky it's not like you're getting me so much better than I'm getting you or anything like that. Come over here. I need a stamina potion. This is getting out of hand. You gotta split your belly like an old woman's purse. Prepare to die! Prepare to die! 
Whew, my health is low. Go ahead, try and fight back. <gasps> eh, you know, good, huh? You're just not any good. That's too bad for you, huh? Alright, what you had on your body? I don't really want your sword, but I guess I took it anyway, huh? Can I not search this man's body? You really were a nobody, huh? Hey, everyone! I don't like the operation you're doing here. Yeah, that's right. Come at me, bros. Oh man, y'all aren't even any good. Easily. you can take me. I mean, yeah, I could. I could certainly take you. I'll make you pay. No more. I yield. I yield. That a freaking yield. Oh, not so fast. You're dead. You're dead. I could just stand up. I'll see you in pieces. Stay away from me. You shouldn't be by me. What I need is right there. Shannon have come at me. Shannon have been over here by me. Aw, oh, hey buddy. I'm sorry for what they've done to you. Search Antonius. Oh, he's dead already. Antonius's note. Completed. Intimidate or persuade the collector into leaving the city's protection. Buy the armor from the collector at the B and Bard or kill the collector. First of all, I gotta find out who the collector is. Oh, that, that name, <laughs> with consonants all right up next to each other like that. Yaku? Yaku? Told me, Yaku told me I'd wager off my own mother if the odds were right. So it's probably no surprise to her that I lost her armor on a bet. What would I explain to the blacksmith after she was done yelling at me? That my plan was foolproof? In my coin purse, a total of 320 septums. Strategy was to wager 10 pieces at a time. If I lost, my next bet would be 10 pieces to cover the last wager. If I lost again, I would wager 20. And once again, attempt to break even. If I lost a fourth time, I would wager 40, and so on. So, unless I lost six times straight, I'd always break even in the end. Well, 10 straight losses later, I not only have no gold, but no armor or a bed to sleep on. I must have slept with Xanathar's mother or something. Not sure why he hates me so. Anyways, I sold the armor to some high elf collector at the Bee and Bod. I should probably just kill her. I would kill the bandits running in pits, but then where would I get my fix? He had a black soul gem on him. Some skooma, clairvoyance. The Crimson Dirks volume six? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> the Crimson Dirks book six by Gathers the Coin. Edward taught Antonius the game he learned in Elsewhere, as Cassaval, Eliel, and Zaharia joined them at the table. A cloth stained with every conceivable color of wine and spirit was placed over the top of the wood, allowing the bones and tiles to slide across its otherwise splintered face. While some of the rules were lost in translation, Edward knew enough for the game to function. Moreover, if he were to bend said rules to his favor, his opponents would be none the wiser. There are two types of games, Edward explained. Lying the tiles out on the surface, those with perfect formation, and those that are imperfect. Chess, for example, is a game with perfect information. We know each other's pieces and their placement on the board. Card games, on the other hand, are of an imperfect variety. We're a delta hand with a set value and must divine, through whatever means are available to us, who has the better of it. And which type do you prefer? X cast of all. I prefer to know who and what I'm dealing with, replied Edward. But, at the same time, I know the more practical skill is to play games where the information is imperfect. After all, that is how the world around us is played. I wasn't aware life was a game, Ethel Hal said. 
Because if so, I need to find a better way to cheat. Don't be so modest, said Edward, raking in another pot. I think we're doing just fine. The same can't be said for our friend Antonius here. I only lost because you distracted me, balked Antonius. With that inhaling and exhaling thing you do with your nose. Do you mean breathing? X Edward. Yes, that. As a careful study of others, Castaval understood the gist of Edward's speech. There were layers beyond what faces advertise. Edward, for instance, used his charm and intellect like a sword, his sly demeanor having a purpose that disarmed his opponents. Ethelhel, on the other hand, wore his humor like armor, deflecting any inkling of emotion or motive. Zaharia, for all her straightforwardness, was also passionate and sincere, making her prone to falling victim to her temper. Even Antonius, for all his inebriation, was a skilled hedge mage, and one wondered at times if his drunkenness was merely a performance that allowed people to excuse his worst impulses. The same rules applied to the crew as a whole. The less that was known about the bandits, the more imperfect the information, the better their chance of survival. Their enemies would always hold the better cards. The only way to win was to bluff. It's for that reason Castaval was uneasy about the last job. They had purchased a building near a warehouse, tunneling into it and stealing the goods. The plan was solid and the profit healthy. But it was the target that worried him still. Even now, after it was complete, after all, unlike some enterprises, the East Empire Company was a machine that counted every coin to its last and weighed every commodity to the gram. Their employees were punctual, their accountants circumspect, and their ledgers pristine. They would identify precisely what goods were stolen and investigate thoroughly the time and manner of the theft. Thus, it weighed heavy on his mind that the forger who purchased the building next to the warehouse had not responded to his last letter. Cassaval wrote the missive, posing as a concerned relative, not wishing to betray any secrets lest the forger had been compromised. Another concern was news that the company had enlisted the help of the local god captains in an effort to pool their information. With that added protection, caravans had been harder to sack, and with a more watchful eye on the merchants, goods had been much harder to smuggle. As it turned out, it was possible to rob from the East Empire Company, but not without revealing some of their cards. Did you know that pale eyes can sing? Ethel said, much to everyone's surprise. Y'all remember pale eyes? He was so cute. Is that a joke? Asked Saharia, somewhat surprised. I'm being serious. He's actually better than most bards. Ethelhel replied, for once completely sincere. Trust me, it shocked me more than anything. I wasn't even aware Argonians could even make that kind of noise, let alone do it on key. Cassaval laughed at the thought of the shy Argonian melodically strumming his lute. Even after he thought he'd learned everything there was to know about others, they were always surprising him in strange, interesting ways. Perhaps the same could be said about their current predicament. So long as they were free, it meant whatever information their pursuers had was still imperfect. The bandits had revealed much of their cards already, but hopefully they had yet to give away their entire hand. I love Crimson Dark books. Oh, I can barely perceive him. I want to see his face. Huh. We gotta head over to the beaten bog, you know? You and Riften looking for thieves guild. You can pretend not to hear me all You're annoying. Really getting tired you of better this. stay out of them. Hey, I came to talk to you. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased. Make can you go away? Creation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids. Hey, wait, Listen hold up. Hold up, I need to talk to you. Need something? Yes, I need to talk with you. Hmm, I can buy it from you? I'd like to buy that armor you bought from Antonius. For that price? Sure. Oh. Thank you, I guess. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my Leave me place. alone. All right, so I've got new armor now? I'm gonna go put it on. I think I look pretty cool. So my armor rating is 126, which isn't as good as the plate. The plate is definitely better, but it is heavy armor and this is light armor. But the look of it's great. Thank y'all so much for watching. And if you like the video, don't be afraid to like the video. Bye y'all.